Hi crafty friends, we are gonna make a super fun project. So you know those Highland cows with the funny fur, or I guess it would be fur, all around their face? Well, that's what we're gonna do with this. So um, I printed out off of my computer, I actually had to print it like three times to get the size that I wanted. Um, just an image that I found of um, you know, the outline shape of the hi uh, Highland cow. So what we're gonna do is I just traced it out on this wood sign from Dollar Tree. And you guys, I like these because you can score them a couple of times and then just kind of bend them enough to where it kind of snaps a little bit and then it just comes off super clean if you need to do any, um, sanding to it you can and then I found out just by trying if I scored a couple of times and then I take these little clippers I can pop off right up to that edge so that I didn't have to score so many times obviously I had to you know clean up at the end but that was another easy way to do it so once I get all the pieces done I'm going to tape them together or not tape them together <laughs> I'm going to glue them together um, with a piece of scrap wood um, from all of this uh, cutting that we did. And then um, we'll just let that sit. So I also, you can see I did the nose part there as separately and then the um, horns as well. So we'll just put those on top. And then once we get those all ready to go, we're going to start painting it. So first I started out with the cream color. Um, I kind of wanted that as my base because I didn't want it to just be regular old brown. I wanted to add a bunch of different layers to it um, of paint. So like I said, started out with this and then I took two different color um, browns that I have and kind of smooshed them together. <laughs> and then once I got that done and everything dried, I was like, hmm, how do I want to distress this more? So I decided to use the Rich Cocoa um, ink pad. So what, like I said, once this gets all dried up and is ready to go, then we'll use the ink pad. You guys know I don't wait well when I'm crafting. <laughs> So I was like, yeah, I'm going to start it. There's a few wet spaces, but we'll just stay away from those. Um, but I did lots of layers of this. I would put a layer on and just let it sit and dry. And then I would do another layer until it really got to how I wanted it to look. And that's the nice thing about distressing. You can really make it how you want it to be. So now we're going to take the mop apart. And you guys, you can just pull um, the ones out that you need. I just went ahead and pulled all of them out because we'll use them for other projects as well. And then I decided to cut them in half. And once I got all of those cut, I ended up tying one of the sides. You can see it there when I flipped it over because I thought that would be good so it didn't fray or anything. And then hot glued it, uh, blah, blah, can't talk, hot glued them in place. And I started with my first base layer of the um, hair and then flipped it over and started untwisting untwisting that then flipped it over and did another layer and then another layer and then I gave him a little bit of a haircut and I just you guys I am so excited about the way this turned out because you know as you're doing it you're like oh is this gonna work is this gonna work but I think it's adorable so here it is my friends <laughs> And I love his hair. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspired you to do a little crafting and don't forget to follow for more.